Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. We're going to take another, this is another East Chicago, Indiana video. Take the next left onto East 140th Street, then turn left onto Pulaski Street. Uh, we're going to take a little drive and look at where you can purchase. Take some. the next left onto Pulaski Street. We're going to take a little drive and look where you can purchase some lower price houses. In 600 feet, turn left onto East 139th Street. Turn left onto East 139th Street, then turn left onto Main Street. Take the next left onto Main Street. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Cesar Chavez Memorial Drive, East Columbus Drive. Turn right onto Cesar Chavez Memorial Drive, East Columbus Drive. Continue on Cesar Chavez Memorial Drive for three quarters of a mile.
a quarter mile, turn right onto Melville Avenue. Take the next right onto Melville Avenue, then turn right onto East Columbus Drive. Take the next right onto East Columbus Drive, then turn right onto Kennedy Avenue. In 400 feet, turn right onto East 140th Street. Take the next right onto East 140th Street, then turn right onto Kennedy Avenue. Take the next right onto Kennedy Avenue. Continue on Kennedy Avenue for three quarters of a mile. In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Chicago Avenue. Take the next right onto East Chicago Avenue, then turn left onto McCook Avenue. Turn left onto McCook Avenue. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. Alright folks, this is going to most likely be your cheaper or lower income community here in East Chicago, Indiana. I mean, there's houses currently for sale on the MLS for as low as $50,000. Now, of course, for that price, you're going to most likely have to get in there and do some uh, renovations and updates and things of that sort. And FYI, Your destination is on the left. FYI. And some of these northern Indiana communities uh, the building codes are gonna be a little more strict compared to other Indiana communities. Now, I'm not for sure what the building codes in East Chicago are. I'm not sure how strict they are here in East Chicago, but sometimes in some of these Northern Indiana communities,
the building codes could be quite strict. Now, some of these houses are very close in together and some of them might come with a garage, which of course you will have to access coming down this alleyway that I'm driving through right now. A lot of these houses in the, on this side of East Chicago are in poor condition. They're going to need a substantial amount of work. Some of these streets look better than others in terms of the upkeep of the houses in the, in the street. this alleyway right here give you guys an idea of what you're gonna be I mean like around here you can see that a lot of these people around here do not have a lot of pride in their community you got garbage all over the place you got that one house on the corner there which I just drove by which looks nice and someone recently updated it. I don't know if it's a rental property or not, but if they're wanting to get any kind of money for it, all I gotta say to them is good luck because this area at this point, it's not looking real promising. I mean, it looks like crap. I'm gonna have to go back down this street. There's a lot of one way, on, there's a lot of one ways on this street. So I'm gonna have to go back down this street to gain access to some of the other areas on this side of town. side of town this is on at this point I'm looking for some street names to indicate that I'm going to drive down 149th which is off of McCook
And if anybody knows the side of town I'm driving on right now, uh, please leave a comment below. Right now I'm driving down Alexander Avenue. I'm driving by the Dr. Martin Luther King Park. So for those of you that are looking to live on this side of East Chicago, I mean, there is a park you can take your kids to. They can run around, get some exercise, and stay off the streets. know those people I just drove by I'm gonna give them I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they're getting ready to clean up the area a little bit but notice how they parked right at the stop sign clearly you're not supposed to do that I mean for some of you it may be no big deal you may not even think about it, but I know for me, that's one of my pet peeves, is people that just park anywhere they want to park with no regards of traffic and laws. Which is, which is one of the reasons why there are certain type of cities that I will, I will absolutely not reside in. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not perfect. But I do prefer to live among people that are law-abiding citizens and have some element of pride, at least, in their community. And their respect for all of other people's possessions to include their house and their automobiles.
All right, folks, I'm going to end it right here. Y'all have a blessed one, and I will see you guys on the next video.